What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And I'm going to tell you again and again, over and over, Mike Vick is garbage. And he's not bad because of, um, you know, the way the card is. He's bad because of the patches and the tuning updates that they did. Because Mike Vick was playing very, very well for me before all these tunings and all kind of stuff was going on. I just want to put that out there. Now, this guy, he probably doesn't have the full legend because it didn't come up. But I'm just letting you know, all the Michael Vicks are garbage. It doesn't matter which one you got. I don't care what it is. They're all trash. Um, towards the end of the game, it's going to be funny because he's going to do something that I've never seen Mike Vick do. Because if Mike Vick did this to me, he would have been raid sold way before. Like he stay, Mike, Did that guy just do a cartwheel on the right side? Rewind the video and go back and see if that guy did a cartwheel on the right side. I, I don't know. See, this is the thing about it, bro. I don't know if EA wants to make a gymnastic game, if they want to make a soccer game. Um, you know, badminton. I don't know what they want to do, but there's so many things in this game that just doesn't make any sense. And it's it's kind of Liddy. Um, I think Liddy is what the kids are using. I don't know. If you're not using it, let me know, bro. If you're a young kid and you're not using Liddy, that's what I heard. I heard the kids were using Liddy. All right? So um, I'm just trying to stay hip. You know what I'm saying? Hip. But Tom Brady powered up tier uh, three where he is right now. He's an outright goon. You see the way he just threw that ball in the run? He threw the ball better than Mike Vick ever could at any time. And the reason that I'm saying that is because Tom Brady has a 62 speed and it doesn't make any sense for him to be throwing like that on the run with the way that he was just able to do it. Especially with Mike Vick having all those stats for throwing on the run to begin with. But it just goes to show you, you have to do what works for you. So when I'm telling you that a card sucks, you have to evaluate it on your own terms. Now remember... I, I've been playing Madden for a long time, probably longer than a lot of you guys. It's a lot of new guys that just started playing in 16, 17, stuff like that. So when I'm talking about certain things within the game, I know it can be better because at one time it was better. So, so we, we have like a disconnect with it because you guys are raging, based, raging against me based on the fact that you came into Madden later and you don't know why I'm so mad. You see what I'm saying? So that's what the disconnect is. People don't seem to understand or realize that this game and what they've been doing since Madden 16, probably towards the end of 15, has been completely unacceptable and it should not be tolerated. But that's not that's not for me to, you know, to use for the reason why I rage. I rage because I know what's going to happen and it just makes me upset. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not really as mad as I used to be. Like in Madden 16, I almost bust uh, blood capillaries in my brain. Because the game was so terrible after the first patch, I didn't know what was going on. So I didn't know how to react because I couldn't believe that the game was so bad. 17, I kind of expected the game to be bad, and it turned out to be worse. 18, they released it very, very good, and then the game just became something like, you know, like maybe the devil's fecal matter. I don't know what it is, bro, but things that go on within the game, it makes you really question life. Because you have to say to yourself, there are people that are making the game that actually thinks that it's okay what they're doing. Now, you might say it's no way that they think it's okay. But I'm here to tell you that I've been in a lot of streams and I've seen a lot of people make a lot of excuses about the stuff that goes on. Oh, he threw it through his body. That, that's fine, bro. The dude is not, he's not human anyway. Oh, yeah, he block shed it instantly. Oh, yeah, he's the greased up deaf guy. Like the dude, the excuses that people say and the things that actually go on throughout a Madden stream with these guys that, you know, are trying to ignore the fact that it's happening is unbelievable. Because if you really think about it, even if you're blind with no eyeballs, right? Like, you know, so, you know, even, you know, even if you're blind, you're supposed to have eyeballs. Even, but I'm just going, I'm going, I'm going farther with it. Like, say you don't have eyeballs at all. You could probably still beat somebody that considers themselves a top Madden player. Just, just by not, you don't really got to hold a button. You just got to press, you know, make them pick a random play for you and the computer do it. Or do what this guy's doing, play cover four drop. Cover four drop was sent directly from hell to earth to destroy all humans. And I really, really feel strongly about that. And I really give EA Sports a lot of credit because I myself played defensive line and I've never in my life been able to do anything that is dictated in this game based on this three down lineman rush. Like, put it like this. If, I, if my team ever came out and my coach was like, you know, yo, look, we're going to cover for a drop. Ready? Break. And we went out there and ran that for a whole drive. We would have given up 1,000 points in one game. And we were playing, well, we weren't even playing 12-minute quarters. What were we playing? When I, uh, was it 12? I don't remember what it was. But whatever amount of quarters it was, we would have given up 1,000 points. But in Madden, a guy can come out and cover for a drop, right? And, then, and another thing about Madden is this. 
For some reason, they believe that you're not supposed to beat somebody deep in zone. Because even if you have like a slow guy that's in zone coverage, he can never get beat deep. How is Tlaib running step for step with 94 overall Randy Moss? Even when he was powered up to a 99 speed. And everybody thinks that's okay. Oh, I'm crazy because I sold Randy Moss. Why am I crazy if he doesn't do what his card says he's supposed to do? You see what I'm saying? How, how does that make any sense? How can you justify that? For all of you guys that don't understand what I'm, what I'm saying to you, how can you justify that a card that has 94 speed and it went up to 99 during Halloween could not beat Tlaib with an 85 speed deep? Because he's in zone coverage and he has a high zone? Are you guys stupid? D d listen, it's very, very obvious to me where Madden is headed, right? And all I'm saying to you guys is this. We have to be able to voice our displeasures rather elo eloquently. We can't rage uncontrollably when we're talking to the developers. Our emotions when we're playing the game, depending on if you want to hold it in or not, you can do whatever you want. The one thing I learned from women, though, um, express yourself. Do not hold it in. That's why men on average die a lot earlier than women. Because women will let you know about yourself. And they'll let it all out. Men will hold stuff in, act like it's not happening, stuff like that, ignore it. Women let their stuff out. They cry. They're more emotional and stuff like that. And therefore, they live longer. Because now I'm not going to hold this stuff in, regardless of what's going on, because I don't think it's fair. You see what I'm saying? Um, for a guy to come out, and on 4th and 96, I'm in, you know, I'm out there. I got three guys on the one guy he's throwing it to, and all my guys jump. And his guys jump through my body, and his arm goes visibly through my chest, and he catches the ball. I have a problem with that. You guys might not. You guys might say, yo, Dot, yo, that, yo, this is raw, bro. You guys might, I don't like it. So I have the right to not like it. That, that's what I'm saying. You see, like right there, he could just do a possession catch like that, and that's an automatic catch, and the guy's on the ground, even though my guy was all in his face about to smash him up. He'll just throw that hot one. And I got to deal with that, and that's fine. I'm not even mad about that, that he just threw the ball like that and possession catches and all this foolishness that goes on in the game. See, those plays don't make me upset because I expect it like that with the stupid animations where he's falling backwards, but he catches it first. I expect that to happen. I'm fully lubed up and just ready for EA to do whatever they wish. But again, that doesn't mean that it's okay. Like right there, you see the way my guy went to the side of him and just stopped and just acted like he didn't know what was going on? That's Josh Norman. So why wouldn't he just jump in front of it and intercept the ball? Any Madden prior to 25, I mean prior to 15, that, that, that's going back for six. And I'm clicking on. Me right now, I'm scared to click on anymore because they, they lock your player. He's like, look, look, another bad time to drop pick. I am not holding the, listen, I am not holding the button. I am tapping it or I'm pressing it as soon as the ball is close to me. So I don't know if they, look, I don't want to go into, why would they do that? Why? If it's so many other problems with the game, why would you be worried about the way that somebody intercepts the ball? You implemented ball hawk, which is just a straight ridiculous um, thing that makes it easy for anybody to intercept the ball. Don't worry about strafing up, getting position, and intercepting the ball the way you're supposed to. Just hold triangle or hold Y. So if you have that going on, you've already created millions of bums. Why would you now create bad timing user pick? This is what I'm... I just don't understand. And that's why I tell you guys, I want you to enjoy the game. I'm not going to tell you not to get it because why shouldn't I share the grief with you guys? Well, most of you guys now, a lot of my viewers right now were guys that were saying, yeah, bro, all you do is complain. And now those same guys are writing, yo, bro, I just got hit stick for six and I had it on conservative and I was holding R1 and trying to uh, cover up the ball. Yo, bro, this dude, I was, in, I was in cover three deep. He did a Hail Mary. The ball tipped off for nine guys and he caught it for six. And he won the game in overtime. You see, things are starting to happen to you guys that didn't, didn't used to happen to you before. All because of your natural hatred of not listening and understanding what my problems are. Nobody is safe on my team. I don't care about their problems. I told you. This is the way I fire them. Come to my office. Your wife will be sitting there on my lap in the nude. And I will explain to you why you are, your services are no longer needed. And if you want to do something, let's pop off. I got six goons just standing there ready to go. And uh, we can figure it out. That's how I handle my team. However you want to do it with your mutt team, you could do, you know, I had a different policy before where I used to have snakes in their lockers when they opened it up. But then it started to get a little crazy because the snakes would get all around the locker room and it, it would go to the wrong person that I'm not really trying to affect. Obviously, snakes are not, you know, they're not too smart. They just, 
go where they're going to go and do what they got to do. So I stopped using that method. Now I do it the way I do it with their wives. So that way they understand because more than likely they should have already figured out what I've already done with their wife as we go forward and we figure out what we're going to do in the future. So now you got cut from the team and then you, you know what I'm saying? You're getting divorced as well. That's the punishment that you get when you play with my team. But at the end of the day, if you play well for me, you can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you like. But if you come out and you like, look, look what's about to happen in this game before this guy rage quit. This is Mike Vick right here. Watch this. Check this out right here. This right here, I would have broke my TV, my P. Look. Did you see that? He threw the ball directly to. Er I'm done. This video, we gotta cut this video. He about to rage quit anyway. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time, man. You enjoy your day. Drink responsibly. G Myers World. We out. One love.